Hey, thanks for coming back to the channel. Today is Monday, April 11th, and <clears throat> this uh, posting is, is after uh, the President Biden's announcement of new gun control measures. I'm going to touch on uh, the ones that I think are important. <clears throat> um, and that we should not be clutching our pearls just because he made those announcements because the devil is always in the detail. Um, yeah, he came out with this nominee who is a roommate of Barack Obama and a rabid uh, anti-gun person. Uh, good luck with his good luck with him being uh, uh, <laughs> approved by the Senate. Not not happening. I mean, so it's just that's just appointment theater to say he did something. He tried to get somebody to run the ATF. <clears throat> the other pieces have to do with the rules, the new rules that uh, that were announced. The one that comes to mind is this, uh, I mean, the 80% 80, 80 lower. Clearly, that's going to get challenged in court uh, because there's no basis to even make a rule like that uh, because what's 80%, what's 81%, What's seventy percent, and who gets to decide? What's the you know what's the criteria? That's that's probably going to end up finding its way to to the courts, and there will probably be some kind of um, injunction making that unenforceable for a minute. The other one uh, that I found interesting was uh, had to do with you and I that like the Barbie doll for men, called the AR platform, and that's where. Uh, the the lower is really considered the firearm, and that's serialized. The upper is just an accessory like a muzzle brake or whatever. And the 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 new rule is to make make the upper serialized as well. Uh, I'm not an attorney, but <laughs> there are millions millions of AR combinations out there in this country. Good luck with getting that done. Um, uh, many of us have multiple uh, lowers and m even more multiple uppers that we can switch. Um, they're not gonna come after us and, and overnight say we have to go serialize those things. The only way those get serialized is you get to, you want to sell them to somebody, and now you because it's unserialized, you have to go through an FFL, and the FFL has to serialize it. Good luck with that. All that means is that <clears throat> uh, the existing inventory in this country of AR platform systems uh, will not start changing hands because nobody wants to deal with that serial number silliness. And that uh, those companies that manufacture uppers now have the burden of serializing them. And it's just like any other thing to get. It's just like a lower then from a purchasing point of view. Now, there's, I mean, the, the, you're not going to match an upper serial number with a lower serial number unless they're manufactured as a set by a, by Smith & Wesson or somebody that says, here's a Smith & Wesson AR, and then the serial numbers will match. Uh, managing, trying to manage that, uh, from an ATF point of view, good luck, good luck. Which is why, which we're going to the next point, is that um, the size of the ATF and the funding for the ATF is, is, is trying to be doubled. I mean, that's the goal. That's the goal of the Biden administration to double both the headcount and the funding for the ATF. Uh, here, here's my reaction to that. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Why? Because all funding and budget is, comes through the House. Guess who's going to own the House in November? There ain't a snowball's chance in hell that the ATF will get more funding to do jack. So, hang on. Mark my words. Come November, Democrats take the House. 
the House is not going to give the ATF more money to come screw with us, right? Senate, not don't know. That's kind of a close call. But let's assume that the Senate also uh, uh, changes party. Then the ATF is dead man walking. Now, what that means is, from a financial point of view, which means the capacity to act on all these things that the president said goes away. And then we got, I don't know, X number of more years before we get rid of him as a president and hopefully have a Republican president who can then go back and undo this silliness, right? So I'm not sure we need to, you know, start worrying that people are going to knock on our doors and we have to start turning stuff in and all that craziness. Um, hang on, watch what happens in November, and then these these things will find their way through the normal places that they find, the court and the Congress. And um, I'm, I'm very hopeful that while they're, they were pretty mm, anti-gun, anti-Second Amendment uh, rules, there are rules. And the rules can be changed like that by the next administration. So <clears throat> that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, Give me your thoughts down below. Uh, if you like the content of the channel, please subscribe. Hit the bell icon. And as always, thanks for watching and continue to carry on.